What's good, Steeler Nation? My name is Jack Sperry, and this is Steelers Talk. Thanks for spending part of your day to talk some Steelers football with us. We got some trade targets. Let's talk some trades. You know, you, you don't really see a whole lot of trades in the NFL offseason, but we decided to have some fun today uh, and do some trade ideas for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 2023 offseason. It's going to be a great video, but before we get into today's action, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right here. Right here on the channel, we give you daily Steelers news and rumors content. We're going to be doing breaking news coverage for whenever uh, say the Steelers make a trade or they sign somebody or they cut somebody. Uh, whenever that, those big news items come up for the Pittsburgh Steelers, we are going to have you covered here on the channel. Plus, we're going to have a bunch of uh, draft and free agency coverage and analysis. We got mock drafts every single week. So if you love the Pittsburgh Steelers, you're looking for one place for all your Steelers news all offseason here on YouTube. You've come to the right place. Subscribe to the channel right now. So let's start with Deontay Johnson. I got five players to trade for, but I wanted to start with Deontay Johnson because a lot of Steelers fans, uh, they kind of want to trade him. They want to trade him so that they can tr so that they can draft Jordan Addison in the first round. They want to trade DJ for a first rounder. So I just kind of want to break that down a little bit before we get into my official trade targets. And Deontay's a good player. Okay, Deontay, I don't think he's a true wide receiver. One, I don't think he has the size or the hands to really be considered a true number one receiver in the National Football League. League, but he's one hell of a two, okay? He's, he's one of the best route runners in the National Football League. I would even say that he is in that elite class of route runner. I mean, he's so fast out of his breaks. He can stop and start on a dime. I mean, you just can't guard this guy one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you talk to Kenny Pickett or Ben Roethlisberger, the guys that have been throwing him passes in the National Football League, they both say the same thing. This guy is one of the elite route runners in the National Football League, and having a get-open guy on third downs is incredibly valuable. But I don't think that he He's a true number one because he is a bit smaller, 5'10", only 183 pounds. And then he has some concentration drops as well. His overall drop rate is actually not that high. I, so I don't want to say he has bad hands. Like he can't catch the football, but he does have those concentration drops. So I'm not going to say that a hands is a, is a net positive either. And then also, you know, whenever there's somebody that's in his area, if someone sticks with him somehow and contests a catch, he's probably not coming down with it, which is why he's not as effective in the red zone. Much tighter speed spaces, lots more uh, context, contested opportunities in the red zone, uh, which is one of the reasons why he didn't have a single touchdown in 2022. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think the Steelers really like him. I don't think he's going to be traded unless he asks for one. Now, he's been kind of doing some stuff on social media. People are speculating, you know, well, maybe he'll ask for a trade, and it's possible. Uh, but I just don't think that he probably will. I think he does this every offseason. I think he's probably going to be back with the Steelers. But let's say that he does ask for a trade. I think the Steelers are going to want a first round pick for him because you know you look at, at what they got for Chase Claypool like they got the first pick in the second round for Chase Claypool they're going to want something even more for Deontay Johnson so whether that's going and getting a different receiver that's a really good player whether that means getting a first round draft pick I think that's what it's going to take uh, to get a Deontay Johnson uh, deal done and honestly I just I'm just not sure if, if they're going to get it I'm not sure if they could get a first round pick for Deontay Johnson because like I said I don't think he is a true number one one receiver. I'm not sure uh, if, if someone can bring him in and be like, you're our guy. We're going to spend a first round draft pick, an extremely valuable draft pick on this guy to be our number one receiver when I just don't think he has the size or the contested catch ability to really be considered one of those top echelon guys in the National Football League. But let me know in the comments section right now. Should the Steelers deal out Deontay Johnson this offseason? Type T if you think trade or type K if you think keep. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So so whenever you get an ad break here on the channel just go or on the video, just go ahead and go to the comment section, find that pinned comment, it's right there at the top, and go ahead and give your answer to today's question. For me, I'm going to say keep. I want to keep Deontay Johnson. He's one of the best uh, route runners in the National Football League. And you, if you're the Steelers, you don't really need uh, a contested catches from this guy. You got Pat Fryermuth, who's who has great hands. You got Connor Hayward, that's got great hands. And of course, George Pickens, who has some of the best hands in the National Football League. So I'm going to go K, or K for keep on this question. So now let's get into my five Steelers trade targets coming up here. Number one on my list, we've talked about it on the show before, but I wanted to bring it up again, DeAndre Hopkins, the wide receiver from the Arizona Cardinals. And, you know, I think that the Steelers would probably do something like this in terms of an offer if they were going to go to Arizona and say, we're willing to deal. They would probably say, we will give you a third round draft pick 
and Deontay Johnson for DeAndre Hopkins. So from the Steelers' perspective, right, I think that, you know, Deontay Johnson isn't a true number one receiver. If you get DeAndre Hopkins, I think you absolutely get that bona fide wide receiver one, one of the best receivers in the National Football League. He uh, spent a lot of time on the bench here this past year with the suspension, and he was also injured, only played in nine games, uh, but he still showed that he has fantastic hands, some of the best, if not the best hands in the National Football League, one of the best contested catchers in the league, still a really good route runner. So overall, I think this would be an upgrade for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but let's take a look real quick at the depth chart if they made this deal because I think it, it it shows some really good things right you got DeAndre Hopkins who can be an excellent 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 mentor to George Pickens who's a very similar type of receiver great body control great hands contested catchability I think if you combine the two of these guys it would be one heck of a thing to stop for opposing defenses man and you still got Calvin Austin the third maybe Steven Sims comes back right he's a restricted free agent coming up this year so we'll see on him but if it, I think if you bring in DeAndre Hopkins if you could potentially make this trade happen and again, Deontay needs to ask for a trade. But if you can do this, I think that this would be very, very interesting. And with the Steelers looking to upgrade their offensive situation this offseason, you need to be looking to upgrade your financial situation with Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Now, guys, monthly subscriptions can be a real pain on your pocketbook, right? You're, you're spending a bunch of money on these things. And it just if you lose control of it, it can be a bunch of money on stuff that you're not even using on a monthly basis. This app shows you all of your subscriptions, monthly subscriptions, in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't even know that you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel subscription on the Rocket Money app, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest for you. Get rid of, uh, get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Steelers Talk to help out the channel a little bit, but also help your financial situation. For me, for me guys, I this is something where I was I was spending a lot of money. You know, when it comes to me, I love Love streaming TV so I, I sign up for a bunch of these streaming services and it's hard to keep up with them a year two years down the line and you know this really helped me with my Christmas shopping inflation stuff on everybody's pocketbook right now guys so you don't need to be spending money that you don't need to be spending so go to rocketmoney.com slash Steelers talk to help out the channel a little bit but also help your financial situation so now that we got DeAndre Hopkins out of the way, I have Jalen Ramsey, the Los Angeles Rams cornerback, one of the best cornerbacks in the National Football League, in a bombshell trade idea here. This is what I have for you, okay? I have the Steelers grabbing Jalen Ramsey and Van Jefferson, and then we would send over to L.A. Deontay Johnson and Alex Highsmith. Now, this would be a, a bombshell of, of, of a move for the Steelers, one of the biggest trades in Steelers history. But you look at Jalen Ramsey and what he can bring to your team, right? He had, he's one... He, consistently year in and year out one of the highest graded cornerbacks in the National Football League he's big he's physical he's aggressive he's great in the run game he can play multiple positions he can play in the nickel if you want to he's a three-time NFL first team all pro selection and he has hinted that he might be asking for a trade this offseason because the Rams could be on their way to a rebuild so why not this for the Steelers why not give a give a give a call to LA and Make an offer. Make an offer. See, see what you can do. And, you know, if you make this trade, if you make this trade, if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers and get one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, you're, at, you're taking care of the need at cornerback, number one, but you also get Deontay Johnson's awful contract off your books, which I know a lot of Steelers fans would be in favor of. And then you won't have to give Alex Highsmith a big extension either because you're sending him to L.A. You can draft somebody uh, to go on the other side of T.J. Watt. And, of course, you could get somebody different to go on the other side of George Pickens in the wide receiver room. You're bringing in Van Jones. Jefferson, who's a pretty darn good receiver as well. But at the end of the day, guys, I just don't think the Steelers are the type of organization to make this kind of big splash. I think it's intriguing. I think that it's worth kind of doing like this thought exercise on, but I don't think the Steelers are the type of organization, Mike T, Omar Khan, I don't think they're going to make this big of a splash come this offseason. But let me know in the comment section, would you make this trade? Would you trade Jalen Ramsey and Van Jefferson for Deontay Johnson and Alex Highsmith? Uh, type hell yes in all caps if you think yes, or type hell no if you think this is a terrible idea, the Steelers shouldn't do it. 
So some smaller names to kind of finish up here. Donovan Smith, the offensive tackle, left tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I would, pro I I would project that he would be traded for about a third round pick. So if you want to go get a guy like Donovan Smith, who's had some good years as a left tackle in the National Football League, he's a bit pricey, uh, but a third round pick is about right for him. He didn't have a great season this year. You take a look at his numbers, his PFF grade would have been the lowest on the Steelers offensive line this year. So that's not fantastic for me. And I would rather draft a left tackle. I, I wouldn't, I don't want to go spend big money on someone that's been hurt, somebody that didn't grade well this year. I want, I want to go out and get somebody on a rookie contract, somebody with really great measurables, somebody that's young and can grow with the offensive line and Kenny Pickett. All right, guys, you got a question on free agency, the draft, trade, you got a trade idea, something, you want, you want to run it by me, go interact with me on Twitter. Go follow me at Jack underscore Sperry uh, on Twitter, and then on Instagram, I am at SparedDog.Football. you got to be following me for me to uh, give you a, a response, but go ahead. If you got a Steelers question, go ahead, give me a follow, and then shout me out, and I'll give you guys a response. At Jack underscore Sperry for Twitter, and then on Instagram, it's at SparedDog.Football. And, you know, a cheaper option here at cornerback here. You don't have to give up Deontay Johnson and Alex Highsmith for Shaquille Griffin. Uh, somebody that is uh, technically a backup right now for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the playoff team, they, Tyson Campbell really came into his own for Jacksonville. Darius Williams is having a great year. So Shaquille Griffin is about further back, and I think that the Steelers could get him for about a seventh-round pick. It's kind of that same situation with William Jackson the third. I think Shaquille, because he's a backup, you can really get him for a low price. So if you're looking for somebody that's been a good starter in this league for a, for a really really cheap trade, you know, just a seventh round pick, right? I think that this would be something that would be worth looking into. But although I think that he's a decent fit for the Steelers defense, I really don't think the Steelers are going to be looking to trade for a cornerback this offseason. I think that, uh, like I said, he's a good fit. He can play with both man and zone principles. But I just don't think that the Steelers, Mike T, Omar Khan, they're going to be trying to trade for a cornerback. I think they're going to be trying to re-sign Cam Sutton. Uh, I think they might be trying to bring back uh, William Jackson the third. I think they might be trying to bring back Akella Witherspoon. They might be looking to draft somebody. So I just don't think they're going to be looking to make this kind of move. And finally, guys, Elijah Moore, another wide receiver to go along with DeAndre Hopkins here on my list. Elijah Moore is someone I loved coming out of college. His short area quickness is insane. This is somebody that the Steelers could really use in the slot, and I would. this is what I would give, a third-round pick. I would, I would give the Jets a call. Elijah Moore is somebody that asked for a trade, actually demanded a trade earlier this season. He's had some issues with the coaching staff there in New York. It's possible that he gets dealt this offseason, and if the Jets would take a third-round pick for him, I would add him because he's a, he would be an excellent slot option to go along with Deontay Johnson and George Pickens. I think that this would be a fantastic pairing. You don't have to worry about it in the draft if this is the case. And then you, you bring him in. you got three really great receivers in Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, and then you add Elijah Moore to that mix. All three of those guys can get open. Elijah Moore, really good hands for his size, actually. So unlike Deontay, Elijah's a bit smaller, but he's got really, really good hands. So I really think this would be a good fit for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and if, this, if the Jets are willing to take a third-round pick for a guy like Elijah Moore, I would make that kind of deal. All right, guys, go in the comment section right now and tell me, what's a player you want the Steelers to sign this offseason? Could be any position, left tackle, inside linebacker. I know that I'm going to see a lot of Tremaine Edmondses in the comment section, but we'll get, we'll get into all that conversation in the comment section, guys. Go ahead right now and put the player that you want to sign this offseason. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We, we have some really great stuff lined up for you coming up next week. We got cut candidates, another mock draft. We got a bunch of free agency stuff coming up, tr free agency targets, all these, all these great videos coming up. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you love the black and gold, you love the Steelers, you want to join the over 20,000 Yinzers that are currently subscribed to the channel. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.